guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I thought I would do one of the top tips and this time it's gonna be on patreon if some of you know maybe you don't I started a patreon page back in November so what November December January February March this is my sixth month on patreon oh my god six months already that's crazy now I'll disclaimer I am NOT an expert at patreon I'm just an artist that's been on there for six months I'm doing all right and I just thought I'd give you some advice if you're like wanting to start your own page or maybe you've got a page and you're just not sure like maybe it's not doing so well and you want to give it like a new lease of life well hopefully I've got some tips on here that will help so yeah I think we just get into it so hopefully you know what Patreon is if you've stumbled across this video and you've no idea what Patreon is Patreon is a website for creators to make exclusive content for people fans their community and they can pledge money every month and get exclusive content from you as a creator. It's an amazing website and I've loved it for ages. I'm a patron of a few people and honestly I put off making my own Patreon page for a long time because I was really nervous. Like I just assumed no one would join and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what content to do. So I put it off for ages and in November of 2019, so six months ago, I hit launch and yeah we're now into April and I have 117 patrons I think and I love every single one of them so thank you so much if you're one of them um, so yeah let's go through all of my tips so when you're launching a patreon page the first thing you need to do is you need to actually create your page you need to build it up so first of all you want to start thinking about what you want to create and what you want to offer your patrons and yeah what they will get when they come to your page this has changed for me over the past few months. I originally thought back before I had a page that I would make a Patreon page for illustrators and it would be a place where you got tutorials and you'd be able to download my Photoshop files and we can do things like that. Well that has changed and I will get onto it later um, but yeah you need to think about what you want to offer on this page. Then once you've got that you need to break it up into tiers. Tiers are the names of the different levels that you're going to offer to your future patrons. You can give them a name and you can put an amount of money attached to them and list all the benefits that a patron will get if they sign up to that level. So for example I have five tiers. I have a one dollar tier, three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars and thirteen dollars. They're the five tiers that I offer and they get benefits depending on how much they pledge. It's really easy to build this up on the page. It's so straightforward. I'm not going to go into it. If you go on there it's honestly so easy to do. You just need to figure out what you want to offer. Now this took me the longest time to figure out what I wanted to offer and for how much because there's no right or wrong answer. Like some people will say don't offer one dollar tiers because by the time patrons took their cut you won't get anything. Um, I, it's so tough. I personally offer a one dollar tier. Um, you don't get lots for it it's more just to support me and help me out but honestly see what works for you. I definitely did a bit of research before I started so I looked at other artists that I really admire on there and I just looked at what they were offering you know if they're doing well on there and they've got lots of patrons see what they're offering there's no harm in seeing what other people do and to just compare and build your own page from there so next once you have all your tiers in place you need to decide how you want to charge your patrons so you can either get them to pay monthly which is what I do so a patron say well, they sign up in the middle of the month they will pay their initial pledge and then they'll be charged again on the first of every single month or you can do a pay per creation now I don't really know much about this you'll need to go and have a little nausea but basically you will create content and if somebody wants to have access to that they will pay for it and that's just how it works. I don't know if the benefits are there but I personally like the pay monthly option. Now the next thing on there which I think is really important is the goal section. Now at first I didn't put any goals in because I didn't think anyone would sign up so I was like why would I put this pressure on myself to hit these goals when I know nobody's going to sign up but I'm so so glad I did because I think patrons like it. They like when you have a goal and that they can help you get to that goal. I had a goal of, now I can't remember, so I think I had a goal of 25 patrons, 50, 
and a hundred, I think. You can do your goals based on how many people or how much money you make. Now, I, I'm not too fussed about the money. Like, obviously it's great and it's brilliant, but I would rather grow the community of people. So my goals were based on the amount of patrons I had. And my biggest goal was 100 patrons. And my goal for that was to get a brand new camera when I hit 100. Now, I thought this would take me a year. I thought my goal was to hit that after a year of being on Patreon and I hit it, I hit it not long ago and you're watching this on my brand new camera which is amazing. So I actually don't have any goals on there at the minute so I need to plan my next one but yes fill in your goal section, it doesn't matter how big or small, it can be 5, 10, 15 patrons, just put them on there and celebrate when you hit them because it's such an amazing feeling and your patrons Honestly, the messages I get from my patrons saying that, that they've helped me get this camera is amazing. So don't feel bad about putting a goal on there and share them with people. They're, honestly, it's amazing. So your page is starting to fill out now. You've got your tiers, you've got your goals, you know how you're gonna charge your patrons. Now, what I really suggest you do is to make a couple of videos. Now, if you're not confident to make videos, it is a tough one, but honestly, it helps so much. So I have a video when you go onto my page and it's kind of like an explainer video, so you'll see that. And I also have a special video that I do, which is like a thank you video. And Patreon help you do this, so you can see it when you set up your thank you message when somebody signs up, you can insert a video. Now, mine is only, I think it's less than a minute long and it's just like this, I just say, thank you so, so much for joining. And and honestly not every patron watches it because you can see you can see how many views it's had but um, I think it's just a special little touch so I definitely recommend filming a little thank you video you can do it on your phone it can be really low-key like don't stress about it but that little connection you've got with your patrons it will mean so much to them honestly so your page is ready it's ready to go, you've sent it to Patreon to be reviewed and it's come back and they've said, yep, you are good to go, now it's time to launch. Well, I think you need to stop right there. Do not hit launch. So, so many people get in touch with me to say, I've launched my Patreon page but nobody signed up. And when I've gone to check on their profile page on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, I've looked back and they haven't even done a build up. They've just put a post to say, hey, I'm on Patreon now, come join me. Uh -uh. For me, I had a whole month, almost a whole month of build up on Instagram before I hit launch. Now I know it's tempting to hit launch and you just wanna get into it, but to have a successful launch, I think you need to build up to it. So I had a look and on the 10th of October is when I announced that I was going on Patreon. So I announced it on the 10th of October and on that post I said, I'm going live on November 1st. So with that post, people know, right, 1st of November, she's launching a Patreon. I then had like three weeks of build up. So my page was ready to go and I was already starting to make content in that time so that when it launched on 1st of November, there was content on the page already. But I, wanted to do this build up. So every single week I teased at what each tier was gonna be. So I said, right, the first tier is $1 and it's called Sprinkles. And for that, you get a podcast and this and that to get people chatting and sharing. And then a few days later, I launched the next tier and I shared that. And then the last post that I shared was two days before launch. I shared my calendar for November and I showed everything that was coming on Patreon and said, right, this is everything that's coming in November and I launch in two days. So I think I did everything I possibly could to build up some excitement and to get people excited for joining me. And when I hit launch on November 1st, it was so funny. The night before I was really nervous and I couldn't sleep. But I said to my partner, I said, if I hit 10 people tomorrow, I've, I've done a good job there. Like, I think that's amazing. So I had this 10 figure in my head and uh, it was about, what time would it have been? I can't remember what time it was, but basically I hit launch the night before. I didn't tell anybody this, but I hit it and I thought just in case then in the morning it's ready to go. I was worried that if I hit launch the next morning something would go wrong. So I thought just before I go to bed I'll hit launch and it's up there then. 
and then in the morning I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, I woke up in the middle of the night to an email to say, you've got a patron. Well, oh my God, I could not believe it. But it was somebody in a different country who's obviously the timing, the times were different. And um, they just obviously searched me and thought, oh, it's launched now. And it was just amazing. I had one patron before I'd even woken up. I have a whole video showing the launch of Patreon. I'm gonna link it if, if you weren't following my studio vlogs at this point, because I did document everything. But I think I hit 10 people before 10 a.m. within the first hour. So it launched at 9 a.m. Technically, I mean, it didn't, but. And by 10, I had 10 people and Honestly, that feeling was just, oh my God, it was amazing. I can't remember how many I had after the first day, but it was so amazing. And I put it all down to the build-up. The build-up on Instagram, it must have been, because I don't have a massive following. At that point, I had about 2,000 followers on Instagram. I just tried to drum up some excitement. So if you can take anything from this, is build up to it and build some excitement and share what's going to come and then when you hit launch you've got people ready and waiting and that will feel so much better than hitting launch and then trying to persuade people to come over you know what i mean just go for it so now you're live your page is live hopefully you've got a few patrons already because they've been waiting and itching to get on there so now you're live what do you do now even if you don't get anybody after your launch date, you cannot stress. You can't think that you've done something wrong or everybody's circumstances are different. But what I will say is, even if you get one person, celebrate that one person. Make them feel so special that they've joined you. Do that by sharing them on your Instagram stories, sending them a message on Patreon. Just make them feel so, so special. And do you know what? I can guarantee if you do that, you'll probably get a few more because people love to be acknowledged for that. And um, I always try to message every single person that joins my Patreon and try and keep up that communication. I follow every single patron of mine. And yeah, I, I, I just think, if they've taken the time to do that, then I am going to give my thanks back and, and try and make them feel a bit special too. So if you have set your goals up, maybe you want 20 patrons and you're going to buy something when you've got 20 patrons and maybe you've got seven and you're feeling a pretty, pretty low about that seven. I think you need to celebrate those people. <laughs> celebrate them and don't stress about the numbers and all the money that you're going to make. Don't worry about that. Think about these seven people that have taken the time to support you. And that makes me feel really special thinking about that. And I think what you should do is treat Patreon the same as if you've got seven patrons or 700. Put same effort in and the same love. And honestly, it will grow because people will want to be part of that. They'll want to be part of this community that you're building. So don't stress if you haven't got many patrons. Act like you've got 700 and enjoy every second of it. Honestly, the numbers will grow because your patrons will be happy to be there. They're, they will share your content and share that they're enjoying being your patron and it will grow, I promise. So now I've got a few tips. These are things that I have learned over the past six months when it comes to having a Patreon page. Now I'm an illustrator. My plan at the beginning was to have an illustration Patreon, which means like I was gonna share my drawings, share my files. I was gonna give advice on how to draw and all these things. That was what my Patreon was gonna be. The first 10 people that joined my Patreon page, the majority of them weren't illustrators. So I had to think back then, I had to, I had to change my tactic a little bit because I thought people are joining me and they're not even illustrators. So I really recommend that you don't be too, what's the word, like specific with your content. Unless you want to do that, I wanted to encourage loads of different creators to join me. So instead of being so focused on drawing and illustration, I've opened it and broadened it a little bit. I do offer illustration tips and things like that, but that's not the main focus of my page. So think about that. Think about the content that you're putting out there. Is it very like narrow? Is only a few people going to benefit from those rewards or is it open to everybody? Another tip I have is don't offer too much. Now, it's very easy to think that you need to cram it in and for people to get their money's worth that they need content constantly. One, it's not realistic. And two, 
They don't need it every day. You don't need to do new content every single day for people. So what I suggest is plan out your month ahead. So I'm in April now, the middle of April, and I'm starting to plan May, May's content. And it just means that there's no stress on me. In the beginning, I was making content to go up the next day. And then if something happened and I couldn't make it, I was stressing out that I needed to make content. So now I try and get as much planned for the next month as possible. And it just takes the pressure off me completely. Don't go crazy. You don't have to do loads of content just to prove that they should be your patrons. They're supporting you. And what I've been told from my patrons is the little benefits they get, the rewards are just an added extra. You know, that's not the reason that they're spending their money. Spending it to support you as a creator. So yeah, don't stress yourself out too much. Another tip I have is don't make everything exclusive. So what I mean by that is I make YouTube videos, I post on Instagram, I do Instagram lives. And when I said I was going to launch a Patreon, I had a lot of people message me to say, oh, please don't like remove every all of your content and put it onto Patreon because I can't afford to be on Patreon. And that's not what I plan to do at all. So basically, if you're already a content creator, I don't suggest you take the content that you're already making and putting it on Patreon. Patreon should be for exclusive things, new things. Um, try and keep everything that you have going so far like it is. So for me, my YouTube videos are just the same. Um, my Instagram's the same. You come to Patreon to just get a few little added extras on top. So yeah, you might lose a few people if you take content that was once like free and accessible for everybody and then making it just for Patreon. So yeah, try and factor that into your plans also. Another tip is try and link a Discord server to your Patreon. Now, I had no idea what this meant when I started Patreon. I thought, sounds a bit complicated. I'm just not gonna bother. But it was the best decision I could have made. And even though my Discord server can be quite quiet some days, some days it's so lovely to see people interacting. So Patreon used to have a section on your page. You'd have um, a community tab and it was like a Facebook wall. So your patrons could chat to each other and upload things. They've removed that now. People that started on Patreon when that was up have still got their community um, tabs on their page, but any new patrons don't have that. So I was a bit confused and I messaged Patreon and said, look, I need somewhere that my patrons can chat to each other or upload images because I do art challenges. And they said, you need to link a Discord server. Now it's really easy to do. Patreon talk you through it, they walk you through it um, and you can link it. And it just means that your patrons can chat to each other and it's like a message board. It's honestly brilliant. And to build a community, it's such a good idea. So if you haven't linked a Discord server, link it now, make it, it's brilliant. Okay, another tip. <laughs> if you're thinking of sending out goodies or printed items or merch for one of your tiers, maybe your top level tier, really think about it. Now, I personally do, I send out illustrated prints and stickers to my top level tiers. Now, when I first launched, I set it up so that a box went out every single month. And when somebody signed up to that tier, uh, they left their shipping address and I could send the boxes out. For the first two months, this worked amazing. I had, maybe 10 or 11 people. It worked wonderfully. But then it started to grow. <laughs> and I was panicking thinking, oh my gosh, this has now become like an operation to design, print, make, ship, package, all of these things every single month. So the first thing I did was I capped the amount of people that can enter those tiers. Now you can do that. You can say when you build your tiers, I only want 20 people to join this. Now, I have done that now for my top tier, so I know it's not going to go out of control. But then I realised it was taking me a long time. Last month, I sent 33 patron boxes. It took me three days to put together, package, ship. That's a lot of packaging. And uh, yes, your patrons are paying their top tier price for it, but it wasn't actually working out for me. And... I was very honest with my patrons, as I always am, and I just said, look, it's not gonna work. So I put it to them. I looked at maybe increasing that tier price, um, maybe taking away that tier price altogether. Um, and what we worked out together as 
like a team was that I was going to start sending boxes every other month. Now whether that will work out I just don't know but think about that when you want to send out like printed things or merch or anything like that the idea of it is wonderful um but logistically it can get messy if you have a really successful launch and you get 40 people join it's scary so if you want to do that it's great but maybe cap the amount of people that are in that tier um to a level that you think you can handle and then if that works out fine then increase it a little bit and then you know build it up from there so there are a few tips I've probably got more I do this I record a video I upload it and then think ah oh, I should have told them about that so if you've got any questions or if I've missed anything either come find me on Instagram and ask me over there or message me below um, just anything I can I can help out with but the biggest thing to take away from this is enjoy yourself over there people are supporting you as a person anything they get on top of that is a massive bonus and that's what I've come to realize when I'm stressing about like not having something ready on a day that I said I would I just think people are here to support me and anything I give is like a little bonus for that and yeah I just enjoy myself and just celebrate every single person that that joins and gets involved so yeah build up a launch don't just hit launch like build up excitement for it and I promise you it will it will go well and if it doesn't go exactly how you want on the first day or the first week or the first month don't stress about it just enjoy it and plan plan what you're going to do the next month build excitement build a launch for it I hope you found this video useful and uh, I will see you very soon bye guys